Are you an international medical graduate or student looking to get clinical experience to improve your application for medical residency in the United States? I'm David Lombardino, founder and owner of DLA Editors and Proofers. Since 2008, we've been helping applicants like you match into residency with a 98% success rate. Well, if you're watching this video today, you likely already know the importance of clinical experience in the US and how much that can help your application for residency. Today, I'd like to tell you about an exciting new product we've just developed, which is our USCE Finder. So what is the USCE Finder and where is it located? Well, as I mentioned, this is a product that we've just launched. We actually have registered the uscefinder.com URL, as you can see here in the uh, URL bar. If you go there, currently it will forward to a page on our dlaeditors.com uh, website where you can see here uh, some important statistics about the information that's contained in the Finder. So the USC Finder has for medical graduates uh, many, many observership and hands-on experiences available in the United States uh, across uh, programs that have uh, residencies available at the at the hospital where the experience is hosted, as well as some private clinics. For medical students, this finder has a list of many uh, exciting opportunities, hands-on and hands-off, although mostly hands-on experiences, uh, which would be both VSLO and non-VSLO experiences. Here you can see the breakdown of the numbers of opportunities currently available in the USCE Finder. So now let me demonstrate to you a little bit how it works. So what you first see once you're in the USCE Finder is, is this screen. Uh, before you start making any selections here, you can see below there, there are useful notes on how to get the most out of the USCE Finder, as well as our key on IMG friendly, friendliness score of the host program, if that is relevant. And so let me demonstrate to you a little bit how to use the USC Finder. So let's say, for example, you are a medical student. So you would select, select international medical student. Let's say, for example, you want to find opportunities in uh, internal medicine. You can select that. And let's say, for example, that you know that your medical school is not part of VSLO and you're looking for an elective that, uh, for uh, such uh, students. And you select elective non-VSLO. And then what you have is a list of states where uh, non-VSLO clinical electives are available in internal medicine for international medical students. That includes all of those states with opportunities available, including the District of Columbia. Let's say you want to do this in Illinois. And so you click on Illinois and you find uh, the opportunities available there. Now you will see here under specialty, internal medicine, and then if there's a subspecialty for the experience, the subspecialty will be listed af after the main specialty. So allergy and immun immunology, ambulatory, critical care, etc. You will also see a link to the application information. Uh, if the experience is at a hospital where there is a residency program in the same specialty, then there will be a link to that as well in addition to the IMG friendliness score. The cost associated with the elective is listed here. Uh, so these experiences at the University of Illinois College of Medicine, they do require a $3,000 fee, uh, but not all of the experiences listed in the finder do uh, actually have a cost with them. Uh, some will be free, some will require just a uh, registration fee or administration fee, say $200 or $300 to be paid. Um, but, you know, whatever the fee is associated with the experience, you'll see it listed here. You'll also see any notes uh, that are particularly noteworthy related to uh, any requirements to apply. This could be uh, requirements related to step one, step two, uh, or any minimal TOEFL scores, uh, as well as recommendations for um, how much in advance to apply for the experience. Uh, as well, there will be a note about international affiliate schools, meaning that your medical school uh, may need to have an affiliate agreement with the host medical school. In many cases, if your medical school does not already have an affiliate, uh, affiliation agreement set up with the host medical school, uh, you can contact your administration and get that set up. Uh, a lot of times that can be taken care of in about six to eight weeks. But you can scroll down here, you can see the uh, options that are available. 
And then uh, when you need to go to the next page of results, you can do so by here and you can go to see uh, the next page of results. Now, let's say, for example, you're an international medical graduate and not a student and you're looking for a clinical experience in neurology. Well, you can go down here to neurology and you can click on observership, for example. Uh, let me just show you, by the way, before I do that, uh, if you were to be in internal medicine, then you would see that there are more options available. When you make selections in, in the step, first step, selecting your category, and the next step, selecting your, your specialty or subspecialty, the following, uh, the options in the following steps will be those that are uh, related to the previous choices. So in this case, for internal medicine, there are externship, externships, observerships, sub-internships uh, offered. Also, we have listed where uh, programs where they, they do offer U.S. Clinic, clinical experience, but it is unlikely that they will agree to do it for an international medical graduate. And then, of course, we do also uh, list programs where we have confirmed that they do not actually have U.S. clinical experience. So as I mentioned, let's say you want to do uh, get an experience in neurology. In this case, uh, currently in the USC Finder, we have only observerships uh, listed. We do continually add uh, experiences on a weekly basis. So continue to check back to see if any others that you might be interested in would be available. As with the medical students, the states uh, where we have such experiences listed are available here. Let's say you want to go to Florida. And then you can see uh, similar to the results for international medical students, you have uh, the results for graduates showing the specialty the type of U.S. clinical experience, the cost associated with it, um, where we whether we verified it. If there's uh, an application or information related to the application or how to apply for the experience, you'll find the link here, uh, as well as a link to the program website. You will also see the IMG friendliness score indicated by the number of physician icons. This is a score of two. This is a score of five, three, et cetera. Under each uh, experience, you will see the cost associated with it. If you see a cost like $4,050, this means that there is a fee to be paid to the host institution, uh, a few thousand dollars. We likely include in this fee the any fees needed for registration or uh, background check or that sort of thing, although there may still be additional fees to pay, for example, for insurance or that sort of thing. If you look at this next example at Orlando Health, the cost is $100. This means that there's no fee to pay for the experience, but there is an administration fee to process the application. And then of course, we do also have experiences that are listed as free. Now, even when an experience is listed as free, there may be still an administrative fee to pay or fees to pay for like a background check or uh, insurance. These would be just, you know, $100, $150, something along those lines. You will also see that there are notes about uh, each experience. So in this first one, you must secure a faculty sponsor before applying. Faculty sponsor means an attending at the program who will be uh, who will agree to host you as an observer. In this case, for observerships, uh, you may need to be in the United States for certain uh, positions that are listed here in the USC Finder, and some may have requirements related to Step One. Uh, the program also may have requirements for Step Two. So this is just something to keep in mind. A lot of times, if it's a residency program, they will agree to host you as an observer if you meet the requirements for what they would want to see in a resident or somebody applying to do residency there. So this has been a brief demonstration of the USCE Finder. I hope that you have found it useful. If you have any questions about whether we have experiences in a particular state, for example, or city that you're interested in and you want to know if we have that information before you subscribe to the Finder, 
feel free to reach out either uh, through live chat through the website or by email. We'll be happy to answer that question for you. Otherwise, uh, this wraps up the presentation that I wanted to give to you today. I wish you every success in getting U.S. clinical experience and in your application for the match cycle you are applying to. Have a good day.